What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Red Let's Play episode 99. Whoa, whoa. So, anyways, uh, last time, last time we left here in Edgeworth's uh, office, we have a bunch of stuff to uh, talk about. So, uh, I guess without further ado, let's start with the uh, forged evidence and then go. Then go visit uh, Gumshoe again, and hopefully we can get into the uh, Gant's office with this, most likely. But yeah, let's go. There's no excuse for what I've done. Oh, two years ago, two years ago, I used false uh, false evidence to obtain guilty verdict. But did you really know about it? That's what all. That's what it all uh, breaks down to, and nothing I can do to erase that f that fact. But you didn't know, yeah, did you? I mean that the evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error, my responsibility as a, as the prosecutor in charge. Damn, so you're gonna take all the blame, eh? What a martyr. Anyways, uh, that fact remains the same no matter what excuses I might have. Oh. That's right. You take pride in your work? So tell me why. Why has it all come down to this? Yeah. Even he can't do that. So, tomorrow's trial. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? Hmm. First last year's trial and now this one. It's it seems all you do is worry about me. To be honest, you're getting on my nerves. Oh, but that's weird. You can't just walk out on the trial. Tomorrow's the last day, it's too late to change prosecutors. I'll bet that uh, that's why my superiors are that's what my superiors are banking on. Hmm. I never thought that case would come back to haunt me like this. What do you mean? And what is that? That's the list of evidence. It seems too short. Let me take a look. Most lists uh, run twice as long. Hmm. It's only half as long as most lists. That's odd. Hmm. After Neil Marshall was murdered. I became a prosecutor for that case. I may not have been part of the investigation, but at the time there was only one thing on my mind. I'd use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. Say, what we saw... We just saw a picture taken around that time. A picture? Something seemed strange about it. Yeah. Indeed. I guess we could show him the picture, but let's talk about the day of the crime first, so get that out of the way. Could you tell us uh, again about what happened that day? The day Detective Goodman was murdered. You were participating uh, in a ceremony over at the uh, station, right? I never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you were awarded with this? Haha! <laughs> Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out of the uh, ceremony. I finished up the office in the morning, then drove over to the uh, police department. You finished up at the office. Even Phoenix knows that it's funny because I'm finished. <laughs> ah, good going, Phoenix. Yes, the odds and answer. Also an answer, uh, Kerrigal, what? Kerrigal stuff, right, Kerrigal, whatever, I digress, English. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is, until I was asked to take something back. Something back? This. Oh yeah, Chief Gant uh, asked you to hold on to that, uh, didn't he? Yes. It was a piece of evidence in a case that was closed half a year ago. Hmm. He asked me to bring it back to the prosecutor's office. Why is that? 
Yeah, that's the story we heard yesterday, indeed, but why? So, uh, you came back to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to? That's right. Hmm. Okay, now we're talking about everything that we can. There's time to present something to unlock some mystery. Mystery, mystery. Let's see if he has anything to say about this picture. Yeah, this picture was hanging on the wall of Chief Gant's office. Prosecutor Neil, Mar Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself, and he has the same trophy. Than you. But it, wait, it kinda looks different, doesn't it? Let me see. Yeah, the sword is missing. Indeed, the sword is missing. And is it is it a coincidence that uh, the the sword in this uh, photo right here uh, has its uh, tip missing, just like in the murder weapon in the Joe Dark killings? Hmm. I digress, though. We shall figure out everything when the time is right. Prosecutor Neil uh, Marshall. Yeah, went through already this one. Looks like uh, this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that, Captain Obvious. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. Yes. The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding has a sword, right? Yeah, it's a little different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're. Yes, you're right. I remember now. Remember what? That was the official prosecutor trophy used until that time. Oh, there were, there's a story behind it. Yay! A story? Sounds interesting. Uh, would you mind uh, telling us? It's simple, really. Contradiction. That's what the award is uh, based on. Well, let's hear about the, the story of this contradiction, right? Yup. We got the prosecutor trophy here now. Sweet. This award origi originates uh, from an ancient Chinese tale. Ho ho ho, it's story time. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means uh, halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard this story? Me? Uh, sure, everyone knows that. Why don't you tell us, tell us that, though, you know, for Emma's sake. Yes, very well. I have no idea what he's talking about. Haha, <laughs> we got the music going on. Nice. Long ago in the kingdom of Chu, there was an arms merchant. One day he presented the king two items. Take that, king! The first one uh, was a halberd uh, he claimed could slice through any shield or armor. The second uh, was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm, wait a minute. <laughs> Those claims contradict each other! Indeed, it's like a uh, Rompardos and Bastiodon. That's based on the same myth too, I think. Anyways, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, I digress. Very perceptive, uh, but then again, you heard this story before, right? <laughs> anyway, as you mentioned, uh, the very descriptions of uh, these items uh, discredit uh, them both. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left spe speechless, and thus the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Now I kind of want to hear the story behind objection. Is there one? Or was the objection uh, born on the same occasion when the king pointed it out? Did the king object to what uh, the merchant said? I don't know. Oh, I see. So the chip. Uh, Chipped shield and the broken knife symbolize precisely so. They symbolize the merchant's items. 
the ancient tale the ancient tale ends with the merchant at the lost four words but it but it is in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion even if the results in results in something as ugly as this whoa thanks mr edgeward yeah something new that's funny if that's so uh then uh, why did it, they only give you the shield? You have to ask uh, Chief Gant. Hmm. Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Oh, Chief Gant. Ooh, now it was updated. Nice. Okay. Now that we are done with this, let's go back to uh, see Gumshu. If nothing else pops up, like apparently it does. <clears throat> uh, Angel Star, possibly? Excuse me? Yup, I was right. Oh dear. No, I wouldn't care. Miss Star! Magumbos! Yay! You certainly are the curious sort, aren't you? Hmm. I'm as curious as uh, Professor Layton. Kind of like the first person who uh, sucked cow's nipple to discover milk. Can I? Oh, I'm gonna leave that. Ho ho ho! 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 Still, I never thought you'd uh, go taking up the case from two years ago. Everyone in this trial uh, was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day of... What is... Very day! Uh, the evidence from the case was uh, due to transfer them. Yes. This can all be attributed uh, to mere coincidence. Dud dud dud. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Uh, you know that little scene I happened to witness. The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. The roast pea beef is meant to be severed when eaten. Huh, yeah, there's some hatred. That big hate! Hatinator. It all dates back to two years ago. Oh dear. Well, I guess we have to talk to her. So let's go with the dark investigation, and then, hopefully after this, we are going to go back to Gamshu and uh, hopefully get into Damon Gant's office. But you know, usually when there's a person we uh, who we can talk to, we usually need to talk to him or her in order to advance the case. So I uh, might as well talk to her now. You know, you guys know how the game goes, so uh, I don't need to explain myself. Or my actions here. Joe Dark. That name, that, that's the name I'll not soon forget. We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. Wasted all my PowerPoints. Still, I don't think if I was ever more alive than I was then. Than I was then. Those were the day, uh, steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Poor old Jake Marshall, though, must have been going, uh, through hell. Oh, yeah, obviously his brothers, because of his brother. They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that uh, made made her what? Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Who? Yeah, who is this? Lana Sky. Oh, my sister. The best of the best were put on the uh, on that uh, SL9 case. Of course, they were led by that legendary duo, Gant and Lana. Gand and Sky or whatever. Yeah. 
Okay, now we can talk about them. After case closed, but l let's talk about that first. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we should. Uh, that's why we were so so shocked over how it turned out. Yes, you mean uh, with the forging of the evidence? Don't get me wrong, Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious evi the evidence uh, produced in the court was manipulated. Items our uh, team never found would suddenly appear while the other items were kept secret. But you didn't have proof of anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what, uh, what, what happened. <gasps> After the case, all of us, uh, all of us save uh, Goodman were relieved of our duties. Yes, just to not not let anyone uh, show that it was uh, suspicious or anything. So they kept one guy. Uh, of course, it all makes sense now, indeed. Uh, most without even uh, so much as an explanation. And then a sky transferred to prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. Yes, she always went. Nothing's quite simple as it appears. Huh? Lana Sky was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. She was being used? Oh! Nice! Well, let's talk about the legendary duo and then being used. Damn Gand and Lena Sky. Now we get the picture. Yay. Two years ago, Gand was chief uh, was chief detective and Lena second in command. They were the best. They saw all kinds of cases together in the day. Yay! Damn Gand's uh, magnetism in particular was almost unreal. His magnetism? He has the ability magnet pull, uh, pull eh? Yes, uh, why would I mean his ability to attract evidence? He'd, pro he'd produce uh, the most incredible evidence in the cases he handled. Incredible evidence? You mean forged evidence by any means? Oh yes, there were rumors about him even back then. No one dared to confront him, though. Like they are doing with uh, Edward, he's the kind of guy they dare to confront. Unfortunately, hmm. I take it she is talking about forged evidence, yes. Back then everyone looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. <gasps> really? Oh yes, myself included. I was a fool, really. She hated everything, anything crooked, and always wa watched out for the other detectives. Mm. That's why she was so concerned for Jake. Mr. Marshall. When Jake's uh, brother was a uh, murder, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from his shock. Oh, that's what it uh, that's what makes it all more infuriating. It's dead. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? <laughs> uh, let's talk about being used. Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Yes, thanks to Chief against powerful influence. Chief. That's right, having solved the SL9 case, his position as a chief was secured. There's only one thing left for him to control, and then no one could stand in his way. And that was what? The prosecutor's office. What? You mean that's why Lana was transferred? If he could control the chief prosecutor, he could control the prosecutor's office. 
That must have been his goal all along. Oh dear. But how could he control Lana? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since uh, that case ended, she never, she's never been the same. Hmm. It's only logical to conclude Chief Demon Gand is somehow controlling Lana. That's the secret we w could be able to find in his office. Hmm. There must have been a reason for her to change. Yes. At last! I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. You should listen to me, rookie. Well, it takes more than uh, just ingredients to create a fine cuisine. I hope you turn out to be better than better chef than I than I've been. Okay. That is interesting. That is really interesting. And uh hmm, I guess I could go back to police department and uh then go over to criminal affairs to see Oh there's something new going on here. Is Gumshoe here? Still though? Oh, you're back! You're still here? Hmm, I'm gonna make uh, 150 copies of these files. Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. You're a DJ as well? He's the beat, Gumshoe. If I'm not mistaken, he means a uh, desk jockey. Oh, that DJ! I gotta admire your persistence, but my answer is still no. I'm not letting you in the chief's office. Period. It'd be, it'd be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene in the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's gotta be something we can do to make Detective change his mind. Can we talk about anything new that, you know? Nope. Same old stuff, but next time when we come back, we are going to present this letter of a resignation. And uh, since it's con since it concerns his uh, best word, uh, best word, best friend Edgeword, <laughs> uh, he is sure to let us in, most likely. So that will be next time. So until then, this is the Flaming Spade signing out. Peace.